stay. Hello. Hi, tutor. Super How tutor are you? right now. I saw you are a super tutor. Am I a super tutor now? I, don't know. I saw your new purple <laughs> badgie. I don't know. Oh, oh, I didn't even see it yet. No? <laughs> no. Yes, Kimberly shows me. Um, you are. Um, you have a super tutor, and behind, behind, no, below your name, there's um. You got five stars, and below that is um a trophy, trophy icon. A trophy, a trophy, trophy icon. Yay! I didn't even know. <laughs> really? <laughs> Camberley has not said anything to me. They haven't said like, you are a super tutor. Congratulations. But yes. let, me, let me quickly check. Check, because... check your account. For, for me, um, you, you are in the I'm top very... of, you are in the top of the tutors. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and today, meet. <clears throat> I'm using that. It's I'm, so. I'm not, I was I'm not just, sure. I was just about to say you have such a cute little hat on. Because today's my birthday. Oh yay! Happy <laughs> birthday! Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. The, the only problem with birthdays is we are only getting older. Yeah. Today, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's um, that's true life. Um, I'm turning thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. You don't look a day you... over twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> look my skin. <laughs> I, I, what I was just saying is, you don't look a day over twenty-five. So, what I say is, I am. I'm 25 years old, mm -hmm. right? With six years of experience. So I'm oh, actually 50. Plus. <laughs> I'm, I'm 51. <laughs> Great. I'm, 20, I'm 25 with six years experience. <laughs> okay, so nice. Yes. Um, I'm not sure. I think you are a PC. Maybe oh, uh, oh a Pisces. Mm -hmm. I, I am Pisces, or, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> I, believe it or not, I am an Aquarian. Aquarian before Pisces. Yes, yes. Yes, I, I'm. I'm not sure if it's before. So my birthday is on the 28th of Cap January. Before Aquarian, uh, my sister's um, her birthday is in January. So I ah. think so is Capri uh, Capricorn. Cap Capricorn yeah. is, is in January. And then at the end of January and into February is Aquarius. Aqua Aqu Aquarium, mm. yes. Yeah. So I am I am just <laughs> before the Capricorn. And that that's what, uh, sorry, just after, after. Uh -huh. the dates. Yes, just after mm. the date of Capricorn. But if you look at it, I sort of have a little bit of both. I have a little bit from the Aquarian side and a little bit from the Capricorn side because I'm so close to each side. Yes. I'm in the middle. I'm yes. in the middle. But some um, I heard once that um, this science doesn't um, mean too much about you. Uh, you have to you have to look about another an, another zodiac uh, zodiac map um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure uh, uh, you you have to pay sorry uh, it prefer you put attention uh, in in your sign ax, uh, ascendant yes so, so you, you you know I, I believe that you are only what you think you are so if oh, you yeah. <laughs> think if you think you you act like an aquarian mm -hmm. then that is what you are if you feel that you act like a gemini then that is what you are so i always read those things but then i read all of them right so i read aquarian and pisces mm -hmm. and all of them and i go 
but I'm a little bit of all of them. <laughs> yeah, a mix. <laughs> in, can... in my case, um, for me, it makes sense uh, when Pisces, uh, they are considered sensitive and easy to, uh, the, the emotion is, is very clear uh, mm -hmm. when I want mm -hmm. to cry I cry a lot <laughs> when I am happy I laugh a lot <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. when I'm seeing some when I'm watching some, a video uh, um, emotional video or a I... drama a drama when you I, cry <laughs> even is for kids ah. like me, the uh, lion Kingdom. The lion, lion. Uh, the lion king, the lion, the lion king. king. I uh, cry, I cry <laughs> every single time. Scar puts his hands on the yes. and goes, Rah! and then he gets trampled, yeah. and then the little baby lion is sitting there and he's crying, and I'm sitting there going, "Oh no, his dad has died." <laughs> Yes, I, I remember the first time when I was a, a child. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, yes, but um, uh, the, the most of dramas, movies, I'm very sensitive. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. And my sister, hey, Karin. Look at me. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, she likes to check to check if I am. Uh -huh. If, if, if you've broken yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, look. Look at me. <laughs> so, do you ever read a horoscope? Horoscope. Um, sometimes. It's a long time I didn't, uh, that I am not reading. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember what, um, when I was in the high school, not hi high yes. school. High school, yes, high school. Um, there's a famous magazines, and the first page <laughs> I want to read the ho horoscope. The horoscope. Ho horoscope. Horoscope. I'll put it in the chat just so that you can see the word. It's normally easier to pronounce when you can see it. Horoscope. horoscope. So horoscope. it's almost like a horror movie, but it's horror. a horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and about you? I think you don't care about horoscope. I'm not, I'm not too interested in horoscopes because I think that people without any understanding of astrology write horoscopes. So you just get some lady that has a blog and she writes horoscopes, but she doesn't have an understanding of things like numerology. And, mm -hmm. astro and astrology. And those two things play a very important role in determining what a horoscope is. So I think nowadays they've become very diluted. It's like having orange juice and you love orange juice. And then someone comes and puts another whole glass of water in your orange juice. It's not the same. It doesn't have the same meaning anymore. It doesn't have the same taste or flavor. You know, mm -hmm. so I think over time, horoscopes have just become, the right word is redundant. Horoscopes have become redundant. I'll put that in the chat for you. Redund redundant. 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 And basically, mm -hmm. this means that it's, they're no longer useful. Redundant mm -hmm. means no longer useful. However, um, I do, I do uh, like, I do like the idea of, astrology and zodiac signs i think it's it's just a nice way of looking at things and also it's a nice way of judging someone right because that's what we use it for so you say i'm a pisces and i go oh no i dated a pisces you and i we can't be together you know something like that ah, so yes a, yes there's some <laughs> signs that you the perfect match so the perfect Polar opposite Pisces time. with, I don't know, I, I'm, I will invent, okay? Uh, for example, Pisces and never, uh, um, 
never engage with someone um, tar, 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 for example. Yes, like a porous. Yes, yeah, because like a porous. it's water can survive or water and uh, a fire doesn't make sense. Yes. We will discussing or arguing so, a lot. So yes. I just googled this very quickly. So okay. who is who is Pisces most compatible match? And the mm. signs that <laughs> make a Pisces best match are everyone. Taurus, <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Scorpios and Capricorns. <laughs> and then I know my personal um, or my star signs matches are Aries and Leo. And funny enough, my last four girlfriends have been Leo. Leos. Leo. Leo. My mother's Leo. Leo. And I don't know what it is about them or their characters or their personality, but I'm just like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> um leo well I, I, my 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 mister is leo as well mm -hmm. and i can see some behaviors uh, similar uh my mother and my ah, my, my boyfriend okay interesting. okay and sometimes interesting. you are can i ask you a question what star what? sign what star sign is your dad my dad cancer ah interesting because they say that a female normally looks for something similar or attributes similar to her father and the same with a, a male will look for attributes that are similar to their mother but what i've noticed in my <laughs> life is that the girls that i have dated have been mm -hmm. completely the opposite of my mom like my, my mom is a, a straight arrow, you know, she's a lawyer, she's very serious, she works very, very hard. Then the girls that I like are very arty and, you know, they're very funky and very, very different to her. <laughs> when, you, when you say funky, it's happy? Yeah. Or like, enjoy, um, enjoy it? Enjoy it? Yes, they, they, they're very joyful. Uh, joyful. Funky... Funky would be a way to describe the way a person looks and a genre of music. So if mm -hmm. I oh, okay, yes, say, yes, I the, the first thing music, I, I remember yeah. funk music, the funk, it, so, funk and soul. So now, yeah, exactly. So kind of think about the people who like funk and soul. That's what I mean by those types of girls. They're very funky. So they like upbeat and they're very enjoyable and mm -hmm. they very outgoing and charismatic that kind of thing <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whereas my mom is the opposite of that she's very uh she's like classical music right she's mm -hmm. very thought out very straightforward very uh there's like I a, think you, a you you <laughs> like classical music if i'm not I wrong like I like all genres of music. There's no genre yeah. of music that I don't appreciate. Because So when I was younger, mm -hmm. I would say, I hate gospel music, or I, I hate Christian music, or uh -huh. I hate country music. Leary. But, okay. you know, as I've gotten older, I now say to myself, wow, this artist has a beautiful voice. Can you hear the way they are singing? And then I'll listen to the instruments and I'll say, these instruments are fantastic. They're playing them so well. So now I appreciate the music, not what the music is there for. So if it's Christian music singing about how amazing God is, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to the artist and saying, ah, this artist is very good. This artist is great. Because if you don't do that, you just stop listening to music. You say, oh, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Is you? Oh, you're there. Oh, Hello. Sorry, me. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So all I was just saying is that when I was younger, I would say, oh, I hate this music. But nowadays, I appreciate mm -hmm. all types of music. And in fact, I spend a lot of time looking for new genres of music, you know, to try and find like, what are they making in Korea? And I came across something called K-pop. 
Keep, and yes, keep K-pop playing. is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then when I was looking for K-pop, I came across something called J-pop, which is J-pop. Japanese pop. <laughs> ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so because you like to hear a lot of gender, maybe from Brazil, very Ooh, famous. Yes, please, very, please share me music from Brazil. Sertanejo. And Sertanejo. Mm, and I uh, do rem- And now, I mean, Brazil is a country that loves, <laughs> that Pizza loves <laughs> music. And I don't like too much. The both it loves gender, but... festivals and it loves carnivals. Ah, yeah. By the way, the carnival it uh, last week. Oh yes. Uh, how how did it go? Last week I get I got a short break because mm-hmm. I was I decided to take a rest. Not not take a rest. Take. Uh, take- Take, take some time uh, off. Yes, yes. Take some time off. Uh, don't be worried if I am uh, uh, to, to have a lessons. Yeah. And <clears throat> I visit a city called um, Santo Antonio. Antonio, ah, Saint, Saint. Santo Antonio. Oh, sorry, Santo Antonio. Saint, Saint Antonio. Do, do Pinhal. Yes, um, Antoni Saint <laughs> from. So is that a saint from the church, Saint Antonio? Yes, is a saint. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know oh, too much about about too much him. about the saint. Yes, but mm-hmm. the, the city is called. It's a very very oh. small. Um, it's, it's a very beautiful city. Wow. And 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 is it very old? Oh yes, no uh, mm-hmm. old. Um, yes, the the. I'm actually I don't I don't know. I okay. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I prefer to uh, don't, don't say uh, anything <laughs> because it's okay. It's better it's, it's better bad. to not say anything if you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it's very. Do you remember the last time I visit um, a city that I uh, I ride with a horse? I showed you some some view. Do you remember? Mitch, you are freezing. Ah, yes. My really drop it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mitch. Mm, I'm, I'm here. You're here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, I can hear I think, you. I, I yeah, was I, saying that. Do you remember the last time I went um campus on do Jordão? Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, I showed you uh some pictures. Yes, yes. Me and uh, a yes. um beautiful horse. Yes, this city is behind. Okay, it's too next much to or beside. Yes, okay. yes. But it's small, very, very small. Uh, you mm-hmm. can visit this the the, the scene sites um, in one day. <laughs> oh, so, so you, <laughs> two you, hours. You can you can see everything in the town in in one day. <laughs> yes, yes, because very small. And <clears throat> what did you do? Was, there? It, it was carnival, yes, but. Uh, you were still are in pandemic. The big event was cons- uh, the, the big the big Cancel. events were cancelled. Actually, um, even in São Paulo, that's a uh, that's the like, biggest event, right? Yes, in yes, yeah. yes. I think not cancelled in São Paulo. The, um, Maybe they reduced. They reduced the no, size. No, they postponed for April. Oh. If I'm not wrong. They okay, move it for for later. Yes, then they move it to a later stage. I don't know stage. if postpone it will be a big difference. Well, I don't know. Like if if you look at the news right now, 
we're not seeing a lot of COVID related news. And it's very interesting, right? Because uh, because Ukraine. <laughs> exactly. They... But it also makes me a little bit worried, like, you know, what is this COVID thing? And how can it all of a sudden just disappear from the news? It's no longer in the news. On. So um, what the hell? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, important anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I, I thought, you know, two months ago or three months yes. ago, it was the most important thing that has ever happened in the 20th century. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's very confusing. But w what I mean to say as well is that I think that COVID is coming to an end where it, it will always be here, but mm -hmm. it's not killing as many people as it did when it started and not as many people are getting sick from mm -hmm. COVID. So I think it's sort of winding down. It's winding down. So it, it's the same in my country. Some of the very big um, festivals that we have, mm -hmm. they've postponed them, but we know they are going to happen. So we they've moved them, but they've also said we've moved it to this date and mm -hmm. we won't ca we won't cancel it no matter what happens it will stay on this date so mm -hmm. for me that that says to me that our government has said it's okay you can have it, the concert at this time because we think covid will be fine so mm -hmm. hmm. i think be control it's right now i can say that i think so it's mm. it's, com it's under the control it's under control very well yes it's under That's control uh, and I uh, last week it's I couldn't see any difference carnival or not carnival. Um, I saw some uh, some decorations. Um, do Do you enjoy the carnivals? Not too much. Be, not because the music. Not because people are happy. Because it's here in Brazil. All things is too much. Uh, it's uh, overcrowded. It's, uh -huh, crowd. it's overcrowded. It, it, it's overcrowded. Overcrowded. Yes. Yes. And so I don't like just... people mm -hmm, touch mm -hmm. me or. I, I know. I'm I'm the same. So I love big or festivals. Some drunk people. Walking, yeah. Walking I, I love I love big festivals, but I hate it when the festival is in like a stadium. Because the stadium is small, uh, okay. and then all the people come inside the stadium, mm -hmm. and you you stand like this, and <laughs> yeah. some drunk some drunk person burps in your ear, and then a, another person bumps you, and then if you bumps. you know yes. if you if you're with your girlfriend, drunk guys do very horrible things, you know. So mm -hmm. you go with this girlfriend, and now you have to protect her, and you can't have fun, and it's just too much. So I like outdoor events outdoor. that are that is like in a big field and they have a very big stage and you can sit on the grass very yes. far away from other people <laughs> just listen to music yes <laughs> yes listen to your music talk to your friends have mm -hmm. a picnic that kind of thing i love that Manofik. ah uh, <laughs> yeah me too me too me too. uh but yes uh the the Santo Antonio do Pinhal, they did nothing about carnival. I mm -hmm. just saw some decorations, and um, by the way, teacher, um, I'm planning I'm planning to have a, a new a new break, a new a new mm -hmm. a, a long break because I have to study more some another 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 course that I enrolled since last year <laughs> and they, what, I, what course did you enroll in oh god uh i'm enrolled <laughs> in I, ha, I okay i have to get some uh, certifications mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh since last year oh i have to put, i have to study a little bit every day but I, I, you have them. My day, <laughs> oh, yes, no. so hectic day, and okay, so I have to prioritize something. Yes, so yes. I put right now more emphasis to, mm -hmm. to, 
uh, stood a little bit every day you want to sort yes. of try and uh, try and do maybe one or two hours a day right mm, yeah mm -hmm. i i've also decided that i need to learn something new and i kind of thought that i would be able to use covid 19 and the pandemic to learn something new but i was too focused on trying not to be upset about COVID-19, that I didn't practice anything. So now I have started and I'm learning the piano. I actually, oh, really? I, I got one, look, I got a piano. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know how to use it. I, have, <laughs> I, I, I just, I just sort of press things and it sounds mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> but memorize, memorize some yeah, <laughs> so, piece. So now, now what I'm actually doing is I'm learning the music theory. So I, I'm a person uh, that, that loves, very hard if I'm I wrong. love theory. I love theory. If you tell me how something works and why it works like that, and there's scientific reasons for why a piano sounds the way it does, I love that kind of stuff. So I'm actually not even learning how to play it. I'm just reading. I'm doing uh, all this okay. reading, you know, uh -huh. and I just, I, I, I enjoy that. So now I want to try and do what you're doing and practice practical on the piano every day for one hour. And I start today. Really? <laughs> yes. <Nice. laughs> Today's Tuesday. It's yeah. very, it's most common start on Monday. <laughs> so what's interesting about my work week is my work week starts on Tuesday, not on Monday. Really? <laughs> yes, yes. Because so I work the, the kind of work that I do, I get paid on a Monday. So and I get paid once a week every Monday. So uh -huh. for me, my day my week ends when I get paid. And then the next day is when it starts. So I take off Monday. I don't work on Monday. Monday, really? I'm just sitting like, that's my Sunday. I'm just relaxing on a Monday. Because also what I've noticed is that a lot of my students don't book me on a Monday because they're busy. Yeah. Mon Monday is a very busy day for my students. You know, that mm -hmm. it's, your it's your first day back at work after the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's normally a child's first day back at school after the weekend. So everyone's busy and they're tired and hung over and whatever. So I just take Monday off. I don't even bother. I just leave Monday and I just, <laughs> and then I get paid on Monday as well. So it makes sense, you know, Monday yeah. off and I've got money in my pocket. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You said you make it interesting because I prefer to have lessons on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, because Monday for me, okay, I'm sometimes I am I you I I went to 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 uh, I slept Sunday yes, later, exactly. so I'm not exactly. sure if I, oh exactly. maybe I travel I travel during my weekend, so we start to Monday Mo mm -hmm. Monday morning for me. Okay, I it's, it's big. Like it's very busy and you're still yes. trying to you're still trying to get ready for the week you know yeah so that that's actually what i use my monday for so i take monday off but then mm -hmm. i use that monday to prepare to for prepare the week. your week yes yes, yes. so Don't. i look at my classes and i'll say okay i know that in this class i'm currently doing grammar then i'll make sure i have all my grammar resources ready and i know what's going on so monday for me is a day off and a mm -hmm. day of planning it's like the day that i plan for my week so monday is my sunday tuesday yes. is my monday, <laughs> yeah, monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's why i start playing piano today because for me i didn't, i actually didn't even realize today was tuesday i thought today was monday in my head <laughs> <laughs> this makes that makes sense Hmm. But the way, um, well, today I don't have any plans to going out because I have to work today. No, no birthday <laughs> but, plans. No, I will get, I will get a day off. 
uh, this Friday. I decided because oh, nice, nice. it's the middle of the week. It doesn't make mm -hmm. too much. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come back to work yesterday. So, um, okay. I prefer Monday or Friday because I Monday I, I had everyone, some important yeah. meetings. I decided, okay, I will my day and, off. And be. everybody likes to take a Monday or a Friday because then you get a long weekend. Bye. 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 bye, bye. Meet. <laughs> Have a